Hey guys, just to give you a little bit of fair warning, um, as new card games are pumped, I am seeing Alpha Investments pump his grading company and his new card game that one of the investments that he did pump uh, did not turn out so well. That name was MetaZoo. A lot of people seem to already have forgotten the name. Um, they kind of, you know, again, I, I get it. It's the victim mentality where everyone's a victim, uh, including the one, <laughs> the people making millions of dollars from the rug bowl. But yeah, he's kind of tried to disassociate himself from it. Very similar to how Graham Stefan and FTX and, you know, I don't know why anyone would listen. Um, I mean, you either didn't know FTX was a scam or you knew it was a scam and you still promoted it in any way to your subscribers who the idea of promotion is, of course, for them to sign up. Now, MetaZoo, in, the, in case you guys don't know, was a game. It went from $100 a box to $10,000 a box, and the most recent sale is $655. So from its height of $10,000 a box, it's lost 93% or more. Um, you can argue, you know, you can argue that there were private sales for fifteen thousand to sixteen thousand um, dollars at the time. People believed it. I believed it as well. Uh, it was too good to be true because you have a. I mean, let, let's be honest here. You have a item that you bought for one hundred dollars, and then that item within a year becomes ten thousand dollars. And everyone is gloating, everyone's shouting to the moon, to the moon, and just like NFTs, just like a lot of crypto coins, scam coins, right? Uh, it turns out, no, it did not go to the moon, and it actually kind of just kind of sucks. Um, to be quite frank with you, there's no other way to describe it, but it really sucks. Um, the game is now dead. There are some people who actually do enjoy the game. So I give them credit um, that they actually stood by the game. Very few of them. But the majority of these people promoting the game, they knew of, you know, accused of knowing of insider information and then using that insider information to then sell their collections to their subscribers and their fans. You know, it, it, I mean, I, I can explain MetaZoo and take Meta, Metaverse, right? Uh, and then Zoo, Crypto Zoo, hmm, Logan Paul scam that we've covered here. Um, it's, um, yeah, a combination of the two, right? I mean, at one point in time, I think MetaZoo was trying to do NFTs or actually successfully did NFTs. Um, we have the knowledge now in hindsight to know that this was a rug pull. Uh, the way that the business operated was a rug pull. They would get pre-orders, uh, so you would send you you would send your money to them, and then uh, you would not get anything back for over a year. And they would use the pre-orders to fund their lavish lifestyles, including Lamborghinis. You always got to get a picture of Lamborghinis and the nice steakhouse is and the influencers, including Steve Aoki and. Uh, a guy that we have not really talked too much about, but he does exist, and uh, his name would be, um, let's see, Steve Aoki and Card, no, Sports Card Investor was also part of this. So don't think it was just one or two of them. It was everyone jumps on the, you know, I mean, that's the whole idea of hyping it up. Everyone's got to jump on it, right? I mean, if you don't jump on it, what are you doing? You need to jump on it. Everyone needs to jump on it. Everyone needs to promote it. Everyone needs to sell it. And everyone needs to say, oh, it's going to the moon. I think Jeff Wilson had various, at least two videos, uh, when Mike Waddell was making his rounds. And uh, Alpha Investment also has videos as well. Uh, selling. So this was, this is a warning sign. And this is a, you know, something that I want to make sure you guys know. I've lost a lot of money on card games. Um. I want to make sure you guys know that in the long term, um, this is not um, going to last. Uh, the economy isn't in a good condition. And in my personal opinion, the economy is not, being, is not in a... It's not good right now. And if you... How can I say it? Like, this should not be on anyone's radar as an investment. Um 
and similar products like it also should not be on the radar as an investment. People are selling this to you as an opportunity, as, hey, we're all going to make a lot of money. I think this is a terrible thing that they're doing. And one thing would be, and, and Graham, give Graham credit, right? At least Graham is not promoting other scams. He's more careful now. Give them credit. Like, you know, give, give the finance YouTubers, uh, Andre Janke, and so on. But in the card industry, what you do is you go from one scam to another scam to another scam. And every time you try to blame someone else for it. I mean, I've been telling you MetaZoo was a scam for many, many years. Many, many years. You can see the reaction to my original videos. and The comments are still there because the people are too lazy to delete them. But some people have deleted comments. Uh, don't get me wrong. They have absolutely deleted some of the comments um, because they don't feel like they want to be associated with that anymore. And that's that's the kind of uh, grift, right? Hey, you, you promote a scam and then uh, you disassociate yourself from the scam after making millions of dollars. All these people made millions of dollars. You don't need to feel too bad for them. After having millions and millions of dollars, right, of... Uh, then claim, oh, I lost too. I Guys, I lost money too. Can you believe that? And then uh, after you lost money, then move on to the next scam and uh, the next promotion because, hell, I mean, why not, right? <laughs> I mean, seriously, why the F not? Because they forgot already. The, uh, the people, they have forgotten that you promoted the previous scam. And you're now on to a new better scam. You know, at this time, it's definitely not a scam. Yeah, uh, do not invest in trading card games, guys. <laughs> Trust me. You know, I know I know people here. Oh, well, do not invest in Rolexes. I know Anthony Farrar was giving great investment tips. None of it that panned out. When somebody is selling you something you don't need um, as an investment, you got to like, you got to be very wary of that. Now, now having a child on the way, like money is more important than ever. Fortunately, business has been good on my end. You know, the marketing agency is doing well, much better than I expected. Maybe I don't give it enough credit. You know, I do work really hard in the marketing agency, but it is, um, I think it's interesting to really talk about sports cards and magic cards and sorcery and, and Locanal. Like, these should be card games that you have fun playing. If you don't have fun playing these card games, you probably are better off not actually uh, buying them. They're definitely not investable, in my personal opinion. But again, that's my opinion. Anyway, bye guys.